Although scientists and physicists continue to make incredible discoveries regarding the inner workings of our world and the rules of the faraway reaches of space, there are still more than enough amazing and mind-boggling mysteries to be uncovered and marvelled at here on Earth. There are an infinite number of incredible, fascinating and wonderful aspects of everyday life that have yet to be fully understood. From impossibly large reptiles to messages carved into stones hundreds of years ago, there is no such thing as a small or insignificant discovery. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving into three recent discoveries. Construction workers discover 10-meter anaconda on a Brazilian building site. The fear of snakes is widespread, and no matter what part of the world you inhabit, it is easy to understand why their strange, slithering bodies, menacing forked tongues, and venomous fangs would strike alarm into your heart. Recently, construction workers on a building site in Brazil came face to face with many people's worst nightmare, a 10-meter long anaconda. And if you were thinking that 10 meters sounds like an unsurpassed length for an anaconda in the wild, you would be absolutely correct. Researchers believe that it may well be the largest snake in the world. Currently, Medusa, a snake in Kansas City, United States, holds the world record for the longest snake in captivity. Although this Brazilian anaconda is not in captivity and no longer living, it has Medusa beat by several meters, which means that those unlucky construction workers may have stumbled upon none other than the largest snake on Earth at this point. And the dimensions of the anaconda are truly mind-boggling. Besides boasting an incredible 10-meter length, it weighs about 400 kilograms and has a diameter of over a meter across. The workers who discovered the massive beast were working on a project of similarly epic proportions as they constructed the Belo Monte Dam, a hydroelectric dam on the Chingu River in Power, Brazil. The dam is one of the largest and most expensive dams in the region, and one of the largest dams in the world. Because Brazil is home to most of the fabulous and wild Amazon rainforest, which houses dozens of mysterious and menacing creatures, it's perhaps no surprise that such a large project disturbed such an enormous inhabitant of the rainforest. One of the construction workers filmed a video to demonstrate the incredible size of the snake that they encountered when they showed up for work. In the video, the snake is shown as deceased, although it's not clear how this happened or whether the construction workers were the ones who harmed it. The snake is being lifted into the air by a crane to show just how long it is. The workers had to attach it to the crane with a large heavy chain, demonstrating just how heavy and cumbersome the massive 10-meter anaconda truly is. The footage of the snake stretched out along the height of an enormous construction crane truly drives home the visual of the incredible size of the beast. And whether or not the anaconda is indeed the largest snake specimen on Earth, its appearance and discovery beg the question. If the Amazon rainforest could have been hiding a 10-meter-long snake within its dark and mysterious depths, what other large creatures could be lurking within? Chimpanzees produce hunting bark it has long been understood that chimpanzees are one of humans' closest relatives. No other creature on Earth shares so many similarities with our own species, and although chimps are nowhere close to establishing booming civilizations and technology, they possess surprisingly human-like qualities of communication, social relationships, and emotions, among other things. Researchers have always studied this species very closely, so that they might better determine the link between us and them. Recently, scientists uncovered another piece of the puzzle with an interesting aspect of chimpanzee communication, the hunting bark. Although the primary source of nutrition for this species is foraged fruit, occasionally chimpanzees will hunt for meat in order to add some protein to their diet. And when they hunt, it seems that they have realized that there is strength in numbers, as researchers identified what is known as a hunting bark that the apes use to recruit other members of their pack to join them thereby increasing the chances of a successful hunt. When it comes to hunting monkeys as prey through the dense foliage where visibility is limited, efficient communication is key in encouraging effective collaboration and a successful hunt. Researchers believe this is why the hunting bark was developed. 
It appears that chimpanzees use these vocalizations to encourage cooperative behavior of the other apes in the community, alerting them to the hunt and convincing them to join in order to increase the chances for success, which, of course, means more food for all. This interesting discovery was made through the study of the Kanyawara community of chimpanzees in Uganda. Researchers leading the study compiled observations of hunting events within this community that took place over the course of 25 years. In all, there were over 300 events that contributed to the study, allowing researchers a full and expansive idea of how the hunting bark works within the community, as well as what purposes it ultimately serves for the individual and the community at large. The incredibly social nature of chimpanzees, including showing favorites, grooming habits, and even starting wars with other communities, often mirrors those of our own human dynamics. And the discovery of the hunting bark shows that, just like us, these apes know how to use effective communication to ensure that they can achieve their goals. Chimpanzees are, as far as we know, our closest living relative with regards to the evolution of humans. In fact, they share almost 99% of our genetic makeup. Researchers have long hoped that careful study of the apes could potentially help to uncover the evolutionary link that caused such a vast divide between humans and apes to occur, with less than 2% of dissimilar DNA between us. Although these answers continue to elude researchers, the fascinating knowledge that has turned up as a result of this search has proven that we are much more similar in actions and emotions than at first believed. Hidden stones reveal drought warnings from the past. It's often said that we can learn a great deal from the past, and that task is made much easier when the humans of the past lay out clear, albeit dire, warnings, specifically directed at those of us in the future. Recent conditions of intense drought in Europe have caused rivers and bodies of water to shrink across the continent. These receding water lines along the banks of the Ebe River in the Czech Republic and Germany revealed stones with ancient carvings in them, alerting those who could see the message to the hard times they were about to face due to the low water levels. The carvings on the stones, which are known as hunger stones, bear the German inscription Wenn du mich siehst, dann weine which translates to the foreboding message, if you see me, then weep. These etchings date back centuries to 1616 and are a way for researchers and citizens alike to hear the voices of the past echoing across the centuries, warning of the potential consequences of impending drought. A previous study of the markers conducted by Czech researchers in 2013 stated that the riverside markings are chiseled with the years of hardship and the initials of authors lost to history. It expressed that drought had brought a bad harvest, lack of food, high prices, and hunger for poor people. Before 1900, the following droughts are commemorated on the stone. 1417, 1616, 1707, 1746, 1790, 1800, 1811, 1830, 1842, 1868, 1892, and 1893. Based on the markings that have been found documenting drought levels through the centuries, it's likely that the current severe drought being experienced throughout Europe this year is one of the most severe that the continent has experienced in approximately 500 years. These droughts, which stress the vegetation and animal life, leading to widespread consequences, are likely brought on in increasing intensity as a result of the growing effects of climate change. As global temperatures rise, precipitation patterns change and evaporation increases, drying out even large bodies of water such as the Yib River, where the hunger stones were found. Although drought-induced receding water lines are never a good sign for the people of today, they can frequently tell us a great deal about the people of the past in more ways than just the hunger stones. As water levels lower, artifacts that have been buried beneath the waves resurface for the first time in centuries, allowing researchers unique glimpses into the culture and lifestyles of the past. Among the uncovered finds revealed by this latest and most severe drought have been several shipwrecks, weapons, and other historical artifacts across Italy, Germany, and the UK. With the current levels of drought across the continent because of the increasing global temperatures, the dire warning of if you see me then weep 
sounds all the more menacing as citizens in the region hope and pray for the relief of rain. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please help us grow this community by liking and subscribing to our channel. Hit the bell to be notified when we share about another discovery. Thank you for watching.